Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got this uh, blue polygon that consists of uh, two rectangles, the top uh, rectangle and the bottom rectangle, uh, as you can see in this given diagram, such that the area of this uh, top rectangle has been given to us as uh, 96 uh, centimeter square, whereas the area of this uh, bottom rectangle is uh, 231 centimeter square. And moreover, uh, this uh, horizontal uh, segment length uh, is uh, 2x. The vertical uh, segment length uh, is uh, 3x. And finally, this uh, vertical segment length uh, is uh, 2x plus 3. And now our task is uh, to calculate the perimeter of this uh, blue polygon. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step since we are going to calculate the perimeter of this given blue polygon. And we know the perimeter of uh, the polygon is going to be the sum of uh, all these uh, side lengths uh, of this uh, blue polygon. So therefore, we are going to find the value of uh, x first. And now let's focus on this uh, top uh, rectangle. And now let's recall the area of a rectangle formula. Area is always equal to length uh, times width of the rectangle. And in our case, uh, the dimensions of this uh, top rectangles are 2x and 3x. And the area of this rectangle has been given to us as uh, 96. So therefore, we are going to fill in the blanks uh, in this uh, formula. So the area is uh, 96 uh, is going to be equal to 2x uh, times uh, 3x. Let's simplify. We're going to get uh, 96 uh, equal to 6 times uh, x uh, square. And now I'm going to divide both sides uh, by 6 to isolate x square. And here we can see 6 and 6 is gone. So therefore, uh, x square value turns out to be 16. And now I'm going to undo this uh, square by taking square root on both uh, sides. So therefore, uh, our uh, x value is going to be positive uh, 4 centimeter. So thus our x value turns out to be 4. And I am going to substitute uh, x equal to 4 value over here, over here, and over here as well. If we substitute value over here, that is going to be 2 times 4 is going to give us uh, 8 centimeter. If we substitute x value equals to 4 over here, that is going to be 12 centimeter. And if we substitute uh, x equal to 4 value over here, 2 times 4 is going to be 8 plus 3 is going to be 11. So thus our side lengths uh, turns out to be 8, 12 uh, and uh, 11. And now our task is uh, to calculate uh, the value of uh, this uh, side length. I'm going to label that one uh, as lowercase y. And we know this uh, segment uh, length uh, is going to be same as uh, this one. We know this is 8. So this segment length turns out to be 8 as well. So therefore, uh, this whole uh, side length is going to be y plus 8. So therefore, uh, this is going to be same as this one. So this is going to be y plus uh, 8. And now our task is to find the value of uh, y. And now we are going to focus on this uh, bottom rectangle. And now let's recall the area of rectangle formula once again. Area equals to length uh, times width of the rectangle. And in our case, our dimensions are uh, 11 and y plus uh, 8. And the area of this uh, bottom rectangle has been given to us as 231. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. So we got 231 is going to be equal to 11 times uh, y plus uh, 8. And now we are going to distribute uh, 11. So therefore, we're going to have uh, 231 equals to 11 times y plus uh, 88. And now I am going to subtract uh, 88 uh, from both uh, sides. 
So therefore we are going to get uh, 143 equals to this cancels out. So we ended up with the 11 times y on the right hand side. And now we are going to divide both sides uh, by 11 to isolate y. And here we can see 11 and 11 is gone. So therefore our y value turns out to be 13 centimeter. So thus our this uh, y value turns out to be 13 centimeter and likewise uh, this side length uh, is going to be y is uh, 13 plus 8 is going to give us uh, 21 centimeter and finally this uh, side length uh, is going to be the sum of these uh, two individual lengths uh, 12 and this uh, length uh, 11. So therefore uh, this side length turns out to be 12 plus 11 is going to make it uh, 23 centimeter. And here's our final step. Now we are going to calculate the perimeter of this uh, blue polygon. In other words, we are going to add up all the side lengths, 8 plus 12 plus 13 plus 11 plus 21 and finally plus 23. So let's go ahead and add up all those numbers. I'm going to write down 8 plus 12 plus 13 plus 11 plus 21 and plus finally 23. And if we add all these numbers that is going to give us 88 centimeter. So thus after all the calculations and manipulations the blue polygon perimeter turns out to be 88 centimeter. And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.